Hello my friends and welcome to the second video in our 10 video Lent prayer meditation video series. This second practice draws inspiration from this Lenten devotional called Bread and Wine, Readings for Lent and Easter. It's one of my favorite daily devotionals for this time of year. Like the first video, all you need to do is find somewhere comfortable where you can sit or lie down for the next few minutes, preferably a space that's quiet or you are withdrawn from the noise around you so that you can draw near to the ever-present sense of the Lord in and the Lord around you. Let's begin. Without rushing in to this practice, give yourself a moment to settle in. Find your breath in your belly, your ribs, and your chest, and find the long, slow breath out. For the second practice in our Lent series, we'll start an exploration of this invitation to surrender ourselves. And it's an idea we'll explore over the next few practices, trying to get at different ways of the gripping that we have on our idea of who we are and what gives us our identity and our security. But this very first practice on this idea is an invitation to look at all of the things that we are holding, the things that we deem as ours and the things that we deem that are God's, to invite them all into God's presence. So begin simply by opening up your palms towards the heavens. And while your hands may be empty of physical things, allow your thoughts to draw towards the things that you are holding in your hands today, the obligations, the schedules, the relationships, the things that have to get done, the things you hope will get done, the things you're afraid will or will not happen, the distractions you know you'll succumb to, the obstacles you anticipate facing. And we'll allow a few seconds of space a breath to let these things continue bubble up inside of us, simply naming them, not trying to control or manage or analyze them, but allowing the Holy Spirit to highlight everything we're holding in our hands today. The French Jesuit priest and writer Jean-Pierre de Cassat writes, What God requires of the soul is the essence of self-surrender. The free gifts he asks from us are self-denial, obedience, and love. The rest is his business. Everything is yours. Everything is from you and for you. For these next couple of minutes, we'll meditate on this truth. And as you hold all these things in your hand, in your mind, in your spirit, pray this over them. God, everything is yours. Everything is from you and for you. Everything is yours. 
Everything is from you and for you. Everything is yours. Everything is from you and for you. De Kassa goes on to write, It is for you, Lord, to regulate everything. Direction, humiliations, sanctification, perfection, and salvation. All are your business, Lord. Mine is to be satisfied with your work and not to demand the choice of action or condition but to leave everything to your good pleasure. All of these things, God, that I'm holding as mine are your business, Lord. My business is to be satisfied with your work, to leave everything to your good pleasure. As you hold these things in your hand, can you continue to soften your grip on them, offering them to the Lord? Surrendering the outcome, surrendering how it reflects on you, surrendering the success, the present, the past, and the future. God, everything is yours. Everything is from you and for you. God, we open our hands and our hearts to you today. In this season of simplicity, of sacrifice, of self-denial, will you bring to mind all the things we hold on to that we build ourselves out of or that we build around ourselves to try and keep us safe? Remind us that everything is yours, that it's from you and that it's for you. God, and the things that we're holding on to that don't bring you glory, that hold us back from knowing you, May they slip out of our fingers and turn to dust. Be with us today, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Bring your hands over your heart. Take a breath in and open your eyes. Feel the fullness of the presence of God in and around you. And go forth from this place blessed.